So one of the best things about cruising is all the different food, right? So today we are going to take you around Discovery Princess and show you as many of the food venues as we can and try all as many different foods as we can fit in our little tummies in one day. Pre-made rolled burritos, really hot. Y'all, get the meatballs. They're good, real good, nice and sweet. It's dinner time. It's pizza Why? time. Why is it dinner time? Because it's like 8.30. We haven't eaten yet. No, it's because we were walking past and it's it pizza. And pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. Pizza. Good. Is for dinner? Yes. This menu looks great. There are pasta dishes and pizza. It's freshly made when you order it, and there is no cost to this. You can just come eat here whenever you want, and it doesn't cost anything. And we've been told, like we've been bragging on Royal Caribbean's pizza and Celebrity's pizza, and everybody says, no, no, no. Wait till you try Princess. So, we're here, and we're getting the pizza. I'm not going to try and pronounce the Italian name for this, but what this is, is baked rolled eggplant stuffed with angel hair pasta, mozzarella, topped with cherry tomatoes and basil sauce. They said it's very hot, not to touch. Mm. It was blasting hot when I put it in my mouth, so I'm going to let it cool off for a little bit, but it's good. There is a lot of flavor in here. I didn't care that it was like burning my mouth. I was like, mmm, flavor. It's really, really good. You know it's good when they bring you a spoon to Giant eat your pasta. Spoon. Ooh, yummy. It's so good, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. This one is... Again, not going to try and pronounce the Italian name. Pasta pockets filled with veal, Parmesan cheese, creamy veal sauce, and sage. And it was extremely hot and bubbly when they brought it out. It's still sizzling like fajitas. Yeah. It's definitely a little pocket of uh, pasta. That's interesting. I think it's going to be better when it cools down a little bit. It's just so hot it's hard to eat. I've burnt my taste buds off. Mm. <laughs> Cooking does that to you. I can touch things, taste things hotter than the average person. Mm, here we go. Ooh, hot. <laughs> Told you it's hot. That's so delicious. There's like the there's a layer of noodles, layer of cheese, the veal parmesan, very oily from the cheese. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> the food's very good here at Gigi's. Absolutely delicious. I can't wait for our pizza. I know. Pizzas are here. We have two pizzas, two halves. So this one in front of me is half Hawaiian and half margarita. Now, switch. This one is half pepperoni and half princess pizza. Now I'm gonna try the pepperoni. This pepperoni is just my favorite pizza. I'm very simple. All right, going in with the Hawaiian pizza. It's got little bits of chicken. We got Canadian bacon, we got pineapple, we got cheese. You know what? I'm, I'm, I expected more. It's good, like the dough's good. The cheese take, it's, it's not a lot of, it's an intense flavor for some reason. It's very light flavor wise. It is, yes. Very, very light. Some people will probably really, really, really like that. Um, I'm from Louisiana where we over season everything. So to me that's under seasoned and lacks a bit on flavor. Pizza was good. The pasta was excellent. Yeah. So, no doubt. I mean, both of the both of the pasta dishes were really, really, really good. The pizza was good. Um, I still, I'm gonna have to give the win for the pizza to Celebrity. I pretty much agree. 
100% with what Elisa just said. Yep, just, you know, light on flavor for us, but you know, we're like real big on flavor. A lot of spices, a lot of seasonings. So this just, um, we felt like Celebrity does a better job on their pizzas as far as flavor. I, I prefer Celebrity as well. Good morning from Discovery Princess. We are floating in the Pacific off the coast of California. Today is day two on this ship. And unfortunately it's our last day because this is just a two day preview cruise. We're just gonna have to do as much as we can in two days on this beautiful ship. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time we post a new video, we're always cruising, we're always traveling, so we've always got new content coming out. We don't want you to miss it. Just got some scrambled eggs, some ham, and there's like some beef, like with gravy. I've never seen that on a, I know. a breakfast buffet before, but I got it because, you know, I love beef. Scrambled eggs with asparagus. Interesting. And mushrooms. Oh. And turkey sausage. This is what's left of it. <laughs> it looks like a little Vienna sausage. Eggs are good. Oh. Gotta put a little salt and pepper on them. Yeah. Flavor them up the way you like them. I really like the crunchy bits of asparagus in there. They're like al dente. They're not soft, mm -hmm. not hard, just perfectly cooked. Okay, so I have some eggs, some sort of like chopped potatoes, a hash brown, and a croissant. I was worried about these eggs because they look very runny, but Jason said they're good, so let's give them a try. They're probably better with the asparagus in them. They're not bad at all. Like, I was really worried because they were so runny, but they're pretty good. Okay, let me try this little potato thing. This is different. Now, my favorite breakfast item is a croissant. Mm. That's always my favorite thing. It's so good. There are a ton of options on this breakfast bar, so we'll go show you in a second. The buffet is just basic. Good basic buffet. I mean, it gets the job done, right? It gets it done quick. You can go on about your day, get off the ship, go on your excursions. You don't got to sit around and wait in the dining room. So there's the convenience factor that we love about a buffet. But you sacrifice a little bit on the food end. But you know what? Sometimes you just got to get the job done. I'm excited for this. Let's see if it's as good as it looks. It's a cinnamon roll, a big old dollop of icing. That's the jam, huh? That icing is the jam. Oh my gosh. Mm. And then I got some sort of like pound cake. Mmm. That's like a lemon pound cake with powdered sugar. Ooh, I, like that. I think that's my favorite. Really? Yes. pork meatballs with this gravy are really sweet and they're good. Mm, they're good. There's crawfish on the buffet and it doesn't, they, they got a good red to them, good color to them. They got a good color to them, nice and bright red, but I know that's not gonna taste right. I'm gonna go try me one or two. Okay, so here we are, look. Crawfish on a cruise ship. Leary, should I be worried? Is this gonna be good? Is this southern? What kind of crawfish is this? Uh, is this is like, um, it's local, you said? Local, local. Local, it's local. So a man here is going to hook us up with some okay. crawfish. Okay. We're gonna see how good these uh -huh. are. You'll let to enjoy. So when you say local, they, local. they come from Calif they come from California? California. Okay, California crawfish. California crawfish. I'm used to the Louisiana swamp crawfish, but this ought to be interesting. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the poop. Bland, very bland. You're gonna need to dip these. This ain't, these are not like back at home, y'all. 
That's the wrong color. That should be white. We're not gonna eat that one. These have been frozen. Yeah, these are not fresh. These are, I mean, oh, duh. Yeah, but you can tell they are frozen because they're squishy, they're squishy, mushy. squishy, squishy with water. They're loaded with water. That's, that's a key sign that they've been frozen. But we're gonna go ahead and dip it in the cocktail sauce. Nope. Sorry. The only thing that was really clicking with me was the meatballs, and I ate my fill in those, but uh, anyway, we're on deck 16 at the Lido deck at the Salty Dog Grill poolside, and Elise is like, I know it clicks with me. Hamburgers and hot french fries right off the press. They're about to come in with them, right? Frying some right now. Yeah, and they make the burger fresh to order, and you can choose your cheese. So I'm getting cheddar and smoked gouda. So it's not just like a basic little cheeseburger. I'm hoping it tastes good. I'm full of meatballs, but I, I want a burger patty. <laughs> Said these are hand patty burgers that they hand patty them every day and they do look hand patty. Look at that. It's a pretty good looking burger. Oh, it's dripping on my hand. Okay. That is 100% a fresh hand pattied burger. You have to go get one of those. At least approved. That is not a frozen patty that they're pumping out 100 at a time. That is a really good looking burger. I may have to take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> this is killing it though. Nice thick patty too. We decided if we were going to have the true princess dining experience, we had to come to the main dining room. So that is what we're doing tonight. So this ship has three main dining rooms, and because the ship is built for Alaska, the dining rooms are called Juno, Skagway, and Ketchikan. So we are in the Skagway dining room, and dinner looks pretty good tonight. There's a surf and turf that I think is right up Jason's alley, and um, French onion soup. Are you hungry, Jace? Yeah. This is the seafood medley, right here. So there's scallops, shrimp, and I think crab. And then this is the shrimp cocktail. So I'm, I'm going big with the shrimp tonight. This little sauce here, just dip it in the sauce. Mmm, sauce is good. Time to break out the fork, because we're going in with the scallops. Sorry, I was wrong about the crab, it's just uh, scallops and shrimp, and there's like some slaw, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Like zucchini. Zucchini. Mm. It's all cold. It's all cold, but it's it's very refreshing. I would ask for extra sauce <laughs> if I was gonna do it again. Mm. That was pleasant to eat. This is normally Jason's staple, but and I normally just get a bite or two of his, but since he didn't order it, I'm like, okay, well fine, I'll order the French onion soup. So it looks really good. It's not, like sometimes they have where the cheese is like coming over the sides. It's not doing that, which I'm okay with. Well, it's, oh, it's got that thick layer of melted cheese on the top. So you went cold and refreshing. This is warm and hearty. It's so flavorful. You're gonna have to taste it because you're a French onion soup connoisseur. But I love the French onion the soup. The broth is delicious and it's not overpowering. Sometimes you can get that real onion flavor. You're making me want some. You're gonna try it. Oh, it's good. Mm. Oh, it is hot. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be keeping this. You can have this. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> that reminds me why I always get the French I know. Onion soup. It's really good. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. That's way better. <laughs> there were a couple of things on the menu that were marked California coastal specialties, and this being one of them. So it's mahi-mahi with 
what I call Caribbean rice and beans um, and green beans. So let's, it just falls apart whenever you touch it. So it's super tender fish. That is a really good fish. And it's got this fantastic corn slaw on the top of it. Oh, that is good. Let me try the rice and beans. Mm. This is a good dish. I'm gonna stay away from the potatoes because I'm I've been doing really bad on my diet. So I'm trying to be good. So I got the surf and turf. So I got a nice little tenderloin here. Feels like it's pretty tender. Let's cut all the way through the middle of that and see what we got. Alright, nice, nice and medium rare. Okay, see that? Um, nice and tasty. There's some shrimp here. Shrimp times three today. <laughs> very flavorful steak. Nothing wrong with that steak. That steak's killer. Yeah, my food's very well seasoned as well. Very well seasoned asparagus. It's dessert time. I have the Princess Specialty. This is called the Princess Love Boat Dream. Uh-oh, I just messed up my little heart. That's very rich. I'm not sure if I like it. Um, it said on a brownie, but the brownie is like paper thin. It's mostly chocolate mousse. So think of chocolate, it's like a, like they took chocolate pudding and smashed it into something hard, is what it tastes like to me. Ooh, so the custard's really thick. Mmm. It said it's lemon, oh there it is. Look, see I don't taste the lemon, but that, there's an aftertaste of lemon. Mmm, I love creme brulee, I love that glass sugar on top. There's just something about that that's really good. Hey, we are at the theater and they have a Bon Jovi tribute band tonight and it's called, the show is called Wanted for obvious reasons featuring the music of Bon Jovi. So this is going to be really cool. So we've heard a lot about these guys and we heard they were on the ship, and then we heard that they weren't on the ship, but they are on the ship, so we're here to see them. Really looking forward to this. They're on the big stage, so this is all, this ought to be interesting. Looking forward to it. say the guy from way up here in the theater looks just like John Bon Jovi from a distance yeah, it sounds like but he too. really sounds exactly like him I will say that they are super tight sounds just like Bon Jovi I've never seen John Bon Jovi live but I've heard their music. This is their music. It's like you're watching Bon Jovi. It's so cool. Yeah, they're yeah. really good. I mean, if you close your eyes and you just listen, you would think that's the real Bon Jovi. Seriously. 80s rock. <laughs>
late night snack here. So we are at the International Cafe. I really like this area. We hung out a lot here last night too. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. We've got piano music. There's like, I don't know how long this cafe is open, but it's after 11. It's 11.15 and they're still rocking. And I got a classic Cubano sandwich. Pretty decent looking Cuban sandwich. Bacon and egg quiche. So we got cheese, we got bacon, we got egg. And I see some onion. It's really good. It's tasty. I did good then, huh? Yep. I have an itty bitty spoon for an itty bitty dessert. I couldn't go to bed without getting one of the desserts from over there. So this has got layers of like cherries and chocolate and whipped cream and shaved chocolate on the top. That's got my name written all over it. <laughs> is that good? Yum. Holy crap, that's amazing. Okay, so overall, I'm gonna give my opinion, you give yours. Overall princess food. We did only the included options on this two-day trip. Buffet is kind of hit and miss, but everything we had in the main dining room was good. International mm -hmm. Cafe is good. Pizza's pretty good. The pasta at the pizza place is really, really good. So overall, I'm gonna give Princess Food a eight out of 10. I'm underwhelmed, honestly. Are you? Yes, with their food. I expected it to be much better. What about your dinner tonight? That was good, but I still think I expected even more. I don't know, and, and I'm really not aiming high. Well, people type, hyped it up. Yeah, I mean, I think I think everybody kind of hypes it up. They, this ship is fancier. It's a little more upscale. I think people want to believe the food's better. But again, this is the first time this ship has sailed with passengers. Right. Okay, so they're gonna work the kinks out. Probably may go through a couple of different chefs, and that could change. This is based on our experience. It wasn't good. Hopefully, they tweak whatever they are gonna tweak wasn't terrible at all. It was just like, I guess I expected it to be better. You expected it to be blown away? I had away. high expectations and I, they were not met. You thought you were going to be blown away? No. I did not think I was going to be blown away. <laughs> did not think I was going to be blown away at all. But I expected it to be better than what it was, for sure. Okay, well that's a wrap from the Discovery Princess, brand spanking new ship. We are the very first passengers to ever set sail on her, like real passengers. Mm -hmm. We got some unfinished business with her though. We only had two days, so we didn't get a lot done that we wanted to get done, like a ship tour. So we will be back, but we showed you everything we could. What'd you think? This is a beautiful ship, and I'm really kind of sad that we only have the two days. I could really spend another five or another seven or however long on this <laughs> ship because we just really scratched the surface in two days um we had a great time yeah. and this is our first introduction to princess first introduction to the medallion which i love 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 this medallion um so first princess not last princess we will be back on princess it's awesome yeah the medallion is probably the coolest and neatest part because it's so different um than all the other cruise ships but uh, you know, we had our likes, we had our dislikes, but all in all, a great ship. Very brassy, very classy, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. The food's okay. The sheets are a little crunchy. It's like <laughs> the, the, pillow, the, pillows, the pillows feel like you're sleeping on a bag of Doritos. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. So they're feather pillows, but there's like, not the pillowcase, but below the pillowcase, it, it's really like crunchy. It's it's strange. It, it's crunchy. It's like crunchy. a it's like a bag of Doritos. You got air and you can fill the Doritos. Like not that I've ever slept on Doritos, but I don't know. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah. And the toilet paper placement in the bathroom is kind of sketchy. <laughs> I didn't like that too well. Yeah, it's um, hidden underneath the cabinet. Buffet food's just like eh. But entertainment was good. 
very good. Entertainment was good. Main Ship dining room was really good. Yeah. But we need to get back on her again and explore more. But that's a wrap. That's it for today. Hey guys, if you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and the notification bell. We post videos weekly. Uh, if you've been around a while, tell a few friends. But that's it for now. We'll see you later. Bye.